What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We have another one of our Hail Caesar faction reviews. We're moving right along in the timeline. So here we have early Germans, which covers a period of roughly second century BC through early third centuries AD. So um, if you're not too familiar, um, we'll look up some of the tribes that are listed below here. So like the Kimbri, the Teutonies, Karuski, um, Swaby, etc. Battle of Teutoborg, of course, Arminius, uh, certainly, and so on and so forth. So, uh, as you might guess, this is definitely an infantry dominated list. So, 75%, excluding skirmishers, is going to be infantry. Um, and of that, this is again <clears throat> a horde style list. So, most of your infantry is also going to be war bands. Um, so, and again, specifically medium infantry warbands aren't really heavy infantry in the Germans here. Uh, divisions, uh, so four uh, units per, uh, excluding skirmishers, and then uh, if the general's guard unit is fielded, that is, of course, in the general's division. And then skirmishers here actually can be per uh, division, 50% uh, of the infantry. So, let's move right in, guys. It's not a big list at all, and that's really just because you're going to be essentially throwing wave after wave after wave of medium infantry warbands at people. So, let's start off there. So, we have essentially the the one medium infantry warband, and then there's different ways that we can upgrade and or downgrade that. Um, so uh, we start off with medium infantry warbands armed with javelins or spears. Again, gives us uh, that nice, solid clash value of nine. So you're definitely going to be chucking a lot of dice here, and then, of course, it drops off. You do have that medium infantry um, morale save, at least, and a little bit of short-range work. Um, there's not too much in the way of long range in this list, but um, you do have some access to that. And at base value here, uh, that gives you wild fighters. So the core of your army is all going to have wild fighters. Um, and again, 28 points a pop there. So interestingly here, then we have some upgrades that we don't see too often. But um, for three extra points, basically, we can add Brave, um, taking us to 31 points. Uh, we can also then, for one unit, specifically the General's Guard unit, which you might as well take um, if you're going to be taking uh, this list, um, that for another five points will add Stubborn on top of everything. So a uh, pretty uh, nasty unit altogether there. And then... Uh, if we wanted to, one unit could also be eager, but those are just be eager and wild fighters, and that's actually free. So um, again, no reason to not really uh, consider taking that. But that is going to be the bulk of your infantry there, uh, bulk of your army. Uh, again, at least 50% of the list are going to be warbands. So um, and it's pretty easy, you know, just uh, copy and paste essentially. Just take lots and lots and lots of these. Um, it's uh, pretty pretty nasty and again you're going to be throwing a ton of dice it's just um, that you're not going to be as durable as other um, heavy infantry type units and stuff out there so you're definitely going to need to do a lot of damage uh, and do it quick um, just because um, your sustained value definitely uh, drastically drops off the potential of you um, doing more damage as time goes on and that stamina of six of course isn't going to last you forever either so and morale save of five up isn't um, you know uh, again uh, going to do you all that much, especially if you're going up against other heavy infantry type things. Uh, but nonetheless, good stuff there as a, just a solid core. We do have light archers, or light infantry archers, so you do have a solid long range component to this list. Um, and these are regular size units too, so uh, again, they can do a little bit of work in close combat, but again, that's really not what they're for. 20 points a pop though gives you a solid uh, range, uh, short range of three and long range of three as well. So definitely worth using that to back up your warbands, soften up the enemy before they get there um, so that hopefully when that clash does happen and hopefully of course you're you're getting charges off um, that um, you know you're you, you've already put in a few damage with the archers before that contact is made and then the uh, that initial contact really pushes enemy units over the edge and starts breaking them if you can break a few holes in their lines initially and then start um, pushing past them that that definitely can be quite scary and can snowball pretty quickly which is really what this list is going to have to do um, you can pay to reduce them into small units too if you want, so um, and still retaining uh, two on both short and long, so also a great option there. Um, then we do have access to skirmishers, and specifically here is just javelins um, as small units. However, we can also upgrade one of them to have a bow-armed um, uh, skirmisher unit, so for just one extra point there. So worth considering just to, again, have a slightly different wrinkle to that and that's the only other long range that you're going to get there but um definitely having the small skirmisher uh units is is going to be uh, very useful for you just again harassment misdirection um softening up the enemy here and there wherever you can 
Uh, and then this list does have a cavalry component. Again, at maximum, you're going to have 25% of this list as cavalry. Um, certainly worth considering just because you do have some decent cavalry here. So light cavalry with javelins as small units. Again, uh, basically filling that um, harassment role, dealing with other similar weak units, hunting down skirmishers or war machines or other stuff like that. And again, potentially baiting enemy units to get out of position or um, redirect as well. But uh, the, the the best cavalry that you have here, again, uh, saving the best for last, is a medium cavalry unit with spears and javelins. A very solid clash of eight. Again, a typical medium cavalry profile. But these guys are eager and tough fighters as well. And the fact that you have that in quantity, again, only a quarter of your army, but um, you know, the bigger the games get, the more of these guys you'll have access to. Um, that's, that's pretty cool um, all around. So um, just having that in quantity to back up the os uh, the, the, the very solid um, war bands and everything else that you can do actually makes this a pretty potent little list. You don't have that many options, and that's all right. You don't need to. Um, the ones that you do have are pretty simple and straightforward. So, um, you know, the uh, war bands are going to be your core, and you're chucking a lot of dice there. So um, even if they um, are going to be the most durable, the fact is your your offensive output um, could potentially be pretty nasty and will let them cert certainly punch uh, pretty hard, um, especially if the dice are with you, um, forcing a lot of saves onto the opponent. Um, you can back that up with a pr pretty decent uh, ranged game here. Again, you don't really need uh, a bajillion different flavors of skirmisher and light infantry and different ranged units. Um, you have just good, solid, regular archers, then that is plenty. Um, and then very solid medium cavalry that, again, can really supplement um, what you're doing with your warbands. And uh, just, you know, uh, again, lots and lots of tough fighters there. Great uh, cavalry unit, eager as well. And again, throwing another eight dice per unit here. So again, just um, not a lot of uh, quantity or variety, I should say, again, but um, just, um, you know, you have, you're throwing uh, on average more dice per unit than a lot of other lists field. So in that sense, um, you know, again, if you get those charges off and the dice are with you, you can start punching holes in the enemy pretty quickly. And then, then your, your, your numbers uh, and just block after block of infantry and cavalry and stuff are gonna start running wild. And again, if you break through those lines, then you can start, you know, getting flank and rear charges and other things and really start crumpling the enemy. So picking that key spot where, where you're gonna try and break through is certainly gonna be key. And that's where just getting a great sense of, comp or um, you know, where, where you wanna do that depending on who you're playing. Uh, what they're bringing, what the the scenario might be, the you know the way the train is formed, all that, but coming up with a good game plan there and then trying to execute. Um, but certainly you can you can have some uh, some good success there and really surprise some enemies as well, who might not otherwise be expecting much out of you. They might just think this is just you know a ragtag bunch of units that can't really do much. But that's when you start throwing buckets of dice at them. Um, this is all backed up by leadership eight across the board. So thankfully um, you don't have to. You're not hampered by leadership seven, so it's just your, your average leadership, uh, and that should be plenty here. Um, again, well, uh, eager and stuff will, will help you out there occasionally, and um, yeah, this is just a fun little list for the Germans here. Uh, pretty easy to collect, plenty of plastics out there if you want to build up your, your forces in quantity here, and there could be some kit bashing and interchangeability between some of the German things and some of the, um, like the Gauls and so on and so forth. So uh, lots out there. Warlord definitely makes uh, plenty of kits for this, and you know they've recently re-released a lot of that in uh, resin uh, for like SPQR and stuff like that. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, Victrix and a few others out there also have plastics if you don't want to go the metal route for building up um, big chunks of um, infantry blocks and stuff like that. So overall, pretty cool. Let us know uh, if you guys have fielded uh, Germans or played against them. Be happy to hear about your results. Uh, this is one of our project armies as well. We're still working on that right now. Um, so we basically just have some skirmishers to, to build up, uh, but we will be working on that. And other than that, uh, thanks so much again for stopping by, guys. Um, if you could, leave us a like and a subscribe as well if you haven't already. And if you do want to support the channel and feel like you picking, you want to pick up anything from Warlord, um, there's a link in the description there if you guys follow that and buy anything that helps the channel out as well. Um, so again, just check the description there. Head over to Warlord, pick up something for your Germans or any, anything else and then that will help support us as well. Thanks again so much for stopping by, guys. We'll see you in the next one.